Hi everybody, today I thought we'd look at doing some uh, 2D graphics with WPF and uh, C Sharp. So you want to go new project and because we're doing a WPF app we pick WPF. Um, WPF is a user interface uh, API which is one of quite a number of different ones on uh, the Windows platform that you can uh, use from C Sharp. Uh, we'll give our project a cool name, something like my 2D pixel drawing project. Make sure that you pick the most recent version of the .NET framework. Hit OK on that. So what we're going to get is a blank uh, get rid of this double pane stuff blank form so if we just run what we get what we've got in there we don't get anything too exciting we just get like a uh, blank window it's quite small at the moment so let's just make that a little bit bigger for us there we go that's a bit more like it actually uh while I've got this up, I might talk about coordinates briefly. You uh, know, computer graphics, uh, the origin x, y at 0, 0 is normally the uh, top left corner. And as you move towards the right, x slowly increases. So uh, this corner here is going to be x is 800, y 0. Down here is 800, 600. And down here is 0, 600, which is kind of the opposite of what you normally see in maths, where the origin would start at the uh, bottom left and 800 by 600 would be up in the top right corner uh, somewhere. Uh, one thing we're going to have to do is go to Tools, New Get Package Manager Console, which we got here, because we're going to install this writable bitmap. Uh, library which gives us a few nice little drawing tools like a draw circle, draw line and uh, that kind of thing. So once we've got that installed we want to give our grid a name. The grid is going to host the uh, viewport where we're going to draw our 2D graphics so we want to give it a name something like viewport container Inside of the grid, we want to put an image and we'll give that a name. Um, we'll call that, say, viewport. We also want to hook up a event on this grid so we can do some initialization work. Let's hook up the loaded event. And I think that will probably be all that we need. So let's look at the code behind for main window and we go into our loaded event. So let's create a few properties first. We want to have the height and width of our drawing area and also we want to have a writable bitmap which stores our pixels that we're going to draw. Um, so first we want to get the width and height which we do based on our viewport containers actual width. Make sure here that you don't pick width because the uh, width is more of a desired width and it might change depending on WPF's auto layout and that kind of thing. So, oh, I think actual width and height are doubles, yeah. So, I want to go ahead and just cast those to integers. Uh, we then want to initialize our writable bitmap, which we can do with writable bitmap equals, I think, bitmap factory dot new. Yeah, that's it. And we're passing our width and our height. Um, and then finally, we want to set our viewport dot source to our bitmap. 
Now I think at this stage we are able to draw a line so we can go writable bitmap dot draw line and we'll go from 0 0 to our width height and so colors dot red here we can also do color dot from red green blue and we could type in something like that to get the same thing uh, passing in the red green and blue color components but for now let's just stick to the named colors the named colors are good enough for us uh, let's put a breakpoint there and give that a run so we get our width which is slightly smaller than the 800 we asked for I think probably because there's some margins or borders around the screen but I think this will work out fine creates our bitmap sets the source and we're drawing from 0 0 to our far bottom right so expect a line going diagonally from the top left to the bottom right and that's exactly what we get now we can resize this and because we've got WPF stretches everything to fit by default it works relatively nicely um, we've got a lot of other drawing functions here so if we go draw uh, ellipse centered it basically draws circles with a X and Y uh, radius so you can make ovals and that kind of thing so if we make it something like x is 20 y is 20 and we'll make both radiuses 20 we'd expect a little circle at the top left corner of the uh, screen and that's basically exactly what we want if we increase this out it will move more towards the um, center of the screen now what we've set up here is this draws everything uh, only once but what we can do is hook up the composition target dot rendering event and uh, this gets called every I think 60 frames a second by default and if we put our drawing method in here it'll get called every time. Uh, let's demonstrate that's the case by drawing some uh, randomly positioned circles. So we've got our uh, random number generator and we will go writable bitmark dot draw lip centered except this time let's go random dot next and we want to get our maximum width our maximum height uh, let's make all the circles just the same radius for the moment and oh, why not let's have random colors as well get crazy uh, 255 is the maximum there oh, uh, let's put some enters here this is getting a bit confusing this thing into byte ah, okay it's only cast it as well but that's a safe cast because we know that they're always going to be within a valid byte range uh, I believe if we run that we'll now get something to the tune of 60 randomly colored circles being drawn per second to the screen and that's basically exactly what we get so that's a basic introduction to drawing some uh, 2d graphics i uh, hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again next time where we advance our knowledge to uh advance on our skills to make a little game all right cheers